AI dispatching system. Um, and I've never heard of that before. You know, so I'm, I'm, I, when I talk, called and talked to the recruiter, you know, I said, well, what is this AI dispatching system? Is it really as simple as it sounds? And she said, yeah, it's a computer system, a smart computer system that will assign you a load uh, to best optimize your miles. And then also, it's, since it's a computer system, there's no favoritism because let's face it, in big box companies, when it comes to dispatching and dishing out miles, Planners have favoritism. They have their favorite drivers. You know, just it's it's the name of the game when it comes to big companies like this. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You know, just it's it's the name of the game when it comes to big companies like this. All right, let's let's uh, let's let's get it in. Trucking your mom on TikTok. Wow. Uh, what's going on, my G? Oh, like I said, not much. Just driving down the road, headed over to my shipper, going to pick up, and then head down to Virginia. All right. So, so right now you're at a new job, pretty much, or a new trucking company. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's uh, let's get into it, man. You uh, you made this video. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. How variant is? I'm so glad you asked. Instead, I'm going to be telling you how variant was for me. Here's all the load info. Pause to read it real quick. Here's my arrival message at 7.13 a.m. And here's my departure message at 8.37 p.m. Here Let's talk about it, bro. Now, listen, listen. I used to work for uh, U.S. Express. So I feel your pain, bro. I've been there. I've been there. Got to a shipper at umpteen time in the morning and did not leave until eight, nine, ten hours later. And I had to fight, literally, like fight, punching bag, fight for the detention pay. Go on ahead and take us back to what happened that day, bro. So I when I got the message, you know, for, for the, the shipping info, it, it showed to get there. I, I don't remember what time right off the rip. I'd have to go back and look, but I want to say seven, eight o'clock in the morning, somewhere in there. So as a driver that's been out here for 10 years, when I see a message that has a window of, let's say, 7 a.m. to 7 a.m., that tells me that's a hard appointment. There's no window. You have to be there at 7 a.m. Okay, cool. No problem. So I get there. I check in. They tell me my load's not due to even be loaded on the drop trailer until 6 p.m. Now, wow. that's already 11 hours after when I when I got there. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. You know, I mean, we're going to be looking at detention pay. That's great. I didn't get out of there, I think, until, well, I don't remember what I said. I, what, 10 o'clock, I think? I think, you, I think you said about so, 10, 10 o'clock. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, so, you know, I mean, that's uh, that's 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 what, 12, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30, 40, 50, uh, 15 hours minus 2. So that's that's 13 hours of detention pay is what I should have been what I should have been looking at. Now, you um, now you used to drive. So for that's what I went. You used to drive for variant. How much how much was their detention pay? Or what was the detention pay that was supposed to be paid? Uh, to? I think. I think their detention pay is twelve seventy five an hour. It might also be it's it's twelve something an hour. Okay, from what I remember. So you was do um, you you was you, you was doing a lot. Yeah, you was doing a little over a little over a hundred dollars, right? For that for that time that you spent right. there. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, right. You know, now I, I went to bed that night thinking, okay, you know, I'm going to get detention pay. The next day I call in, I just make sure that all my messages went through correctly because mm -hmm. Variant, U.S. Express, you know, all this other stuff, they require you to, you know, after your first two hours, you have to start sending messages every single hour, letting them know you're still detained. You're still, right. Which is a, a really outdated policy in, in, in my mind. You know, I mean, you should just have to send one message after you're loaded, letting them know the total time you were there detained. When I was um, there, when I was there, so when, I, hold, when I was there at U.S. Express, it was a detained message every three hours. So they still were variant. They right, still well, doing it that way. 
That's correct, yes. They are still doing it that way, but now it's gone down to every hour you must have. Ooh, jeez. Okay, that's a little much, but so okay. It's, it's very frustrating. It It is very frustrating. I can imagine. Especially, you know, one is like, let's say, let's say, you know, I mean, if you're going to be there over 10 hours, well, I mean, companies like Variant, U.S. Express, and other other big box companies, if you're there for more than 10 hours and you're logging off duty to, say, save your 70-hour clock, you know, I mean, now that you, you've you been there for more than 10 hours, well, guess what? Your reset's done. So they're going to expect you to drive after you've sat there all this time. Well, if you have to send a message every single hour, exactly what time do you have to rest in that period? What, just go to sleep and then wake up every single hour and, and suddenly that, that's not resting, you know? Mm. So they, they don't allow you any type of rest time whatsoever, um, but then expect you to drive after, after your 10 hour break is completed. Um, so w- let's, let's get to the next day real quick. You know, the, I, I call in again to make sure that all my messages, you know, have been received. And I was then notified uh, by the uh, the fleet manager, not the not the dispatcher, but the the overhead fleet manager, that um, oh, there is no detention time on this load. I said, well, how do you figure? What? And they said, well, the load had an all day window on it. And I said, no, the load did not have an all day window on it. You sent me a hard appointment time of whatever it was, seven eight o'clock in the morning, whatever it was. And they said, well, yeah, but it had an all day window on it. I said. Well, wait, 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 trucking, 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 wait, I'm, I'm confused, I, uh, right. oh, wait, wait, I'm, I'm, I, you, I, I'm confused, you mean to tell me they sent you a dispatch, a time to get there, and then the next day they're going to turn around and say that it was an all day, all day appointment, so that means I could have, so that means I could have got there any time that, uh, that I wanted to get there? type deal or is this like correct or is this all day window oh, okay so anytime i got there would have been good hi um my name is peter parker and i would like a coffee please okay no problem peter parker <laughs> right okay so let me think here. If the even if there was a window, let's just say it wasn't appointment time. Let's just say your point. Let, let's say your window was from seven a to like three o'clock. You know, normal work hours. J- get there between those times. Sure. Your time starts when you get there. So if you got there at ten o'clock and they didn't start to load you, say like. Three or four hours. Let's let's go four because we got to give them two. So four hours later, you're due to two hours detention time. How is that? How is that not? How how is that not you? How is that not you? The way it's written, Uh, mm -hmm. by by their policy and the way it's written, Mm -hmm. your your the shipper is allowed two hours free to load you. Mm-hmm. And then every hour after that is considered detention, mm-hmm. you know, so they, they owe, you know, I mean, after, after two hours, they owe you detention time. That's, right. that's your time that's being detained by the customer. You are owed that money. Regardless if it's a window or not. Now, if it's a hard, now the difference is if it's a hard appointment and you just missed it by a half an hour or so, then that's, that's debatable. Okay, but but what they saying the next day is it wasn't a hard appointment, but you got right here in your Qualcomm that it was. Correct. Wow. Mm. So what was the uh, what was the outcome of of that next day conversation? <laughs> So it was a, it was a pretty solid outcome for me. Uh, you know, I, I, I had that conversation. They told me I wasn't getting anything. And, uh, and I said, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to deliver this load. Um, mm-hmm. you know, you, you never want to quit under, 
uh, dispatch. That, that looks really, really bad on you. Um, you know, so I went ahead. I finished out the load. Um, and I, I then called them back. And I said, where do you want your truck? <laughs> where you want these keys? Bro? Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly it. I said, where do you want your truck? And they said, well, what do you mean? I said, I'm sorry. Why are you confused here? You want to sit here and play around with my money. Well, we're not, we're not doing that. You don't want to rectify the situation. Mm-hmm. That's fine. I'm not going to work for a company that is not going to pay me money that I'm owed due to a clerical oversight on their end. Right. Facts. Facts. You know, so um, they, uh, they said, well, we can get you a load coming over to Tunnel Hill. At the time I was in Charlotte, North Carolina. I said, no, 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 no. That's not what I asked. I said, where do you want your truck? Not what load can you get me Facts. to get me back to the yard so Facts. I can get more money that you probably will pay me after the fact because I'm already quitting. Mm-hmm. So they said, well, if you, uh, if you drive the truck to your yard without a load, we're going to charge you out of route miles for every mile that you drive to bring the truck back to the yard while not under dispatch. I said, what? That's fine. I don't really need it. I don't, I said, I don't, I don't care. You're going to charge me a dollar a mile for every mile out of route. Okay, fine. I'll take the truck over to Tunnel Hill. You're going to charge me $200. They ended up charging me $400. I'm not exactly sure why. That's $2 a mile at that point, but that's neither here nor there. So, whoa, 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 hold on. Said, I'm, 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 I'm intrigued. And this is, this is variant, right? This is variant. Yeah, so, they, yeah. they, they offered you when you got there. I'm, I'm going to assume you was making like 60 to 65 cent a mile, but yet they going to take. I was making 60 cents. I was making 60 cents a mile. And mind you, that's a driver with 10 years of experience. And that's what they cap out at. Okay. 60 cents a mile. Okay. So 60 cent a mile, but they're going to tax you $2 a mile just to bring their truck back. After you, after you told them that, right, hey, so I will that. bring your truck back. Even at a dollar a mile, they do that as a deterrent, you know. And the thing is, newer drivers would probably be like, oh, well, you know, I don't want them to charge me a dollar a mile. I'd rather make money, you know, on my way back to, to the terminal. What they don't realize is you're not going to see a dime of that money because they're going to charge you for a cleaning fee. Mm -hmm. They're going to charge you uh, if you have a pet on the truck. They're going to continue to charge you until your deductible Mm -hmm. for the pet is made because Mm -hmm. a lot of big big box companies have that type of have that type of policy. You're not going to see any of that money. I I know that because, like I said, I've been out here for a minute. You know, so I just told them I'm like, keep whatever you want to keep. I don't care. I'm bringing your truck back to you. You're not going to get me with an abandonment, that's for sure. Um, and I, I took their, I ended up taking their truck down to uh, one of their terminals in South Carolina, okay. um, and dropping it there, which is su- which is super funny because the distance uh, to that terminal should have only cost me sixty dollars, not four hundred. Mm. Um, so I, I really don't know where they get off charging me four hundred dollars, but. Uh, you know, again, that's that's neither here nor there. I knew I wasn't going to see any of that money, anyway. Man, trucking, um, they they did so you they not, they not. they they did you dirty, bro. But I'm hey, I'm about to play devil's advocate it, with you. It, hold it, hold on, thing, hold it, on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, okay. Wrong, wrong button. Hold on, let me get my hold on button. There we go. Hold on, my guy. I'm going to play devil's advocate <laughs> with you. You. 10 years in the game, bruh, 10 years in the game. What was the allure to go over the variant of all places? Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm really glad you asked that. I'm really glad you asked that. So the allure for variant, they, on their website and from their uh, driver ambassadors, which are nothing more than driver field recruiters, et cetera, uh, they Facts. have this ad out that they have an AI dispatching system. Um, and I've never heard of that before. You know, so I'm, I'm, I, when I talk, called and talked to the recruiter, you know, I said, well, what is this AI dispatching system? Is it really as simple as it sounds? And she said, yeah, it's a computer system, a smart computer system 
that will assign you a load uh, to best optimize your miles. And then also, it's, since it's a computer system, there's no favoritism because let's face it, in big box companies, when it comes to dispatching and dishing out miles, planners have favoritism. They have their favorite drivers. You know, it's just it's it's the name of the game when it comes to big companies like that. Right. Um, so that was one of the big allures to me uh, was this AI dispatching system. It was new. It's intriguing. I'm very intrigued by technology and technological advances. So I'm like, all right, you know, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Mm-hmm. Well. Here's the kicker. When I got over there, you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm sitting in orientation, and I I asked the question about the AI dispatching system, mm-hmm. and this is only two days after I spoke to the recruiter. Mm-hmm. I am then told that they had trashed the AI dispatching system three months prior to me arriving. Interesting. So, no more AI dispatching. Now you have a actual dispatcher there huh people yeah mm. yeah you have actual you have actual people planners and actual people dispatchers and, interesting you know, they they when you go and when you go and look on their website they tell you it's that still like there. you know they'll try to give you 20 well yeah it is still there funny enough um but they also try to tell you they'll guarantee you 2500 miles a week and most of their drivers are driving more etc no here's the problem with the wording on their website, you might pull 2,500 or 3,000 miles a week. Mm -hmm. You're not going to pull 2,500 or 3,000 miles a pay period. That's. So that's, that's the issue. You know, they, they make it look really good, but when it comes to your paycheck, you might be averaging 1750 as far as miles go per pay period. But then it might equal out to 2,500 miles for the week because of the way their pay period falls. So it's, it's very misleading. So, trucking, let me ask you this question right quick because I, I, I wanted, I, I had a few uh, variants ambassadors on the, on the podcast, uh, one of which, which is a popular female. Me and her been knowing each other uh way before she even got with variant but she's with variant and she's pumping the company so much that it's like hmm questions you know i'm like riddler here like this is so many questions uh so let me ask you this as a driver that 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 came in to rock out with variant uh did you actually talk to a driver recruiter to be on there on their so-called money squad, or did you actually talk to a recruiter that you called in and talked to that was sitting so at I, a desk? I do not talk to drivers per se, really about companies. I would um, because, especially a driver like a uh, like an ambassador. Mm-hmm. All right, so um, let's let's get this out of the way now. Um, Recruiters are known to lie to drivers. That's that's all, that's a given. Yes. Okay. But a driver recruiter is going to be more prone to lie to you mm. to get you on to get the referral bonus. Okay. 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 And I have seen this time and time and time again. They 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 the, these companies flash these big dollar signs in front of these company drivers. And now, remember, these company drivers are averaging about 1,750 miles a week at 60 cents a mile. That's not, re- that's not even over $1,000. If you start flashing $2,000 referral bonuses in front of these driver's faces, do you really think they're about to tell you the truth to get you onto these companies? Mm. No. You know, I mean, because just like you and me, we have a family to feed. So if we can make some quick money off of a simple lie to a driver that's going to believe us, why not do it? Now, you know what? I I, I used to – now, I wasn't called an ambassador. I, I was just a driver recruiter for uh, J&R Shrugel back in the day. and I, But I was always straightforward and, and transparent with, with the people I was talking to that was uh that was coming on you know i you know i did my videos 
I feel at the time like I got a lot of a lot of uh you know a lot of traction because of the videos. But if it wasn't for the videos, I, I don't think I would have as many people that would came and signed up and drove for JNR Schwugel. Because a lot of us in the truck right. stops, in the in the in the shippers receivers, we 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 tend to st- stay to ourselves and to come up to a driver and try to spark up a conversation like yeah you know i work for u.s express and you know how about you you know if i give you my card call them up that that's not happening a lot of these social media drivers and that's what i call them now is that they using their video platform to to put out maybe uh quash information so that they can get you know get their name on the referral so for every person that comes in they get two thousand dollars along with two cent of every mile that person dry so when the person comes on to comes on and say well yeah i made a hundred you know i made a hundred grand red flash goes off in my head like okay you you okay you may i'm not questioning the fact that you made six figures with variant i'm not questioning that i'm not questioning that. as a matter of fact i'm happy for you but red flags is in my head because all of that did all of that wasn't from driving and that's i think that's where my problem I, my problem is is when you tell these impressionable guys that they can come in and make money with variant is not true when they get there. And then when they get there, they'll call you back up and be like, hey, I thought you said I I can make this type of money and all like that. Oh, well, you know what? You can make this kind of money if you become an ambassador. I I ain't come here to become no ambassador. Sit with me, Cato. Tell me your tale. Variant has such a very, that's why Variant has such a high ambassador count now. And what's super funny is while I was there, all of a sudden they started revamping the ambassador program. And now the ambassadors are no longer getting referral bonuses. They're only getting the two cents a mile. And it's two cents a mile per driver that they bring on that's quipped to their drive time not quipped to the uh refer the referrals drive time oh so that's interesting to, in to know to make, if they have, okay mm-hmm. so now so, and, and another thing too is variant is not even variant anymore so um do tell variant is essentially the variant is essentially now the over-the-road division of U.S. Express, uh, their their corporate headquarters. If any, if you, I mean, you you definitely know you work for U.S. Express, and yeah, you know anybody else Chattanooga. listening. Variant, um, well, no, Variant's uh, driver corporate headquarters is Tunnel Hill. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, it's yeah. U.S. Express's corporate driver terminal. You know, I mean, because I've I've worked for U.S. Express, I've worked for Arnold, um, right? You know, and uh, right, I've worked for, for all of them. Uh, yep. Third contractor. Yeah, I've I've worked for for you know all of them just to try them out. Um, and Variant is essentially nothing more than U.S. Express with a a different company name on the door. It might as well just say U.S. Express because it literally is just that. I keep... I, the variant you, doesn't really exist. Anymore. You you know what? People used to get mad at me. You know, Pete, you know, like I said, um, I, 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 I still mess with... Uh, I still mess with the young lady, but she's, you know, she kind of... She's kind of upset with me because I keep coming in saying that variant isn't what variant supposed to be. I always said that is if you're pulling U.S. Express trailers, if you're going to U.S. Express shops, 
and U.S. Express, and you're using U.S. Express payroll, you U.S. Express. What? What? Explain well, to me. You, explain to me what. Out, the, oh, left uh, out one thing. Uh oh. Uh, uh, you left out one thing. So I, I agree with you on all that. If, you, if you're using their shops, if you're using their terminals, if you're pulling their trailers and you're on their payroll, you use U.S. Express. But also the other thing, if it says operated by U.S. Express on your door, you're U.S. Express. <laughs> <laughs> so what's you. the, dip- so you what's might the difference? So what's the difference? Rip that variant sticker right off. Right. So what's there the di- no you know, when they keep when they keep I, saying I guess- the, these ambassadors keep saying that variant is different. Variant is a different company. Variant is different from US Express. What is not. the difference? It, it used to be. Variant used to be different. It no longer is. Mm. The diff- the only difference between the va- a variant truck and a U.S. Express truck, there's three differences. I'll tell them to you right now. One is gray. One is red. One has a variant sticker on it. One has a U.S. Express sticker on it. One has an EPU. For those that don't know, that's an electronic... Uh, uh, power unit instead right. of your your traditional APU that runs off a of diesel. EPUs run off your truck's battery. Right. Um, one has an EPU. The variant trucks have EPUs, and U.S. Express's trucks don't, but they're about to. Now, you'll also start seeing U.S. Express and Total getting gray trucks in because Variant bought all these trucks because they were starting to get so big that. Now, you know, Variant has basically been dissolved. If you look in the news, you'll see that Variant no more. It's dissolved. It, it was reabsorbed by U.S. Express. So now U.S. Express is using the gray trucks, and Total is using the gray trucks. You'll see that out on the road. It's, it's really quite entertaining to watch, actually. <laughs> Drag it, man. Bro, thank you very much for coming on and uh, chopping it up with me and sharing your, uh, is, uh, your experience. Uh the dark truth mm, 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 about uh, about variant and and every other every other thing. So now, of course, you 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 know you decided to move on. Um, what are you doing now? Like you know, I mean, what I mean, are you with so a better company I, or I'm I'm sure I'm hoping you didn't go with another mega carrier. I, I did not go with another mega carrier. I went with a much smaller company. I, I won't um, I won't put their name out there just for privacy reasons. Right. Um, you know, but I did go with a much smaller company. Um, it's a uh, it's a regional driving position. Um, you know, I'm I'm East Coast. They don't really go West Coast. All their operations are on the East Coast. Um, but I'm more Northeast orientated, uh, just because I live in Rhode Island. Um, it's a, uh, an hourly paid job with time and a half after 40 hours. So I'm now a regional driver with overtime options for pay, which is fantastic. Um, the, uh, the benefits are fantastic. Uh, the, the equipment is fantastic. It's, uh, it's flatbed work pulling utility poles. And that probably just gave away who I'm working for. If people out there know anything about <laughs> utility poles, you probably know who I work for. All right, bro. Um, well, you know what? We- but it's a, it's a. Oh, go ahead. No, it's, it's just, it's a much better outfit. You know, if I could give advice to anybody, you know, I mean, put your time in with mega carriers and then get away from them. All right. All right. Trucking your mom. Where, where the hell that name came from, bro? I mean, to be honest, I can't put an expletive word in a username, so it's fun. <laughs> Facts. Yo, man, we're going to get back together uh, <laughs> probably after the holidays because you made another video that uh, that I'm interested in, but I want to make that a whole separate topic. So we will definitely get back together. Pretty sure I know what video it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely going to get back on with that one. Thank you very much for sharing your time with me, man. Uh, guys, that's what we do over here. We, 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 we do it over here. We conversate. The best conversation starts here on the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Until next time, everybody, y'all take it easy. Big cheese got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean, for my pussy. My love. Tell you no.
fuck a 